Gertrude. Bert, where are you guys? Pastor Lance here. Kind of want to come visit with you. Shh. Pastor, I'm over here. Are, are you hiding? Yeah. Haven't you heard? There's a scary virus running around, and it's trying to get us. Get you? Who, who's telling you this stuff? Well, I know it must be really bad because my parents are keeping us locked in our house. Well, uh, oh, oh, and our Bert. parents are whispering all the time. That means things are really bad. I get it. I, I get why you might be a little bit scared, but I think I can help. Why don't you guys come on over here and let's have a little chat. Okay, hang on. You know, it might be happening to you guys, too. Parents are whispering. There are things going on that you don't understand, and it makes you a little bit nervous. And so I want to help these guys, and maybe it'll help you, too, know a little bit more about what's going on in the world. So, guys, what's really bothering you? What kind of questions can I answer for you? Well, we can't go outside, Pastor. Yeah, and we can't play with our friends. And, and when our parents go to the store, they're wearing masks. And, well, I really wanted to talk to you, but we can't even go to church. I know, man, I miss you guys, too. We can't have people at church either. Um, but I think what I could do is, what, what's the questions that are bothering you most? You ask me those questions, and I think I can maybe answer some of those doubts that you're having. Okay. Well, why are we locked in our houses? And why can't we come to church? Those are good questions. I think I can answer them by asking you this. You know, when the winter comes along, have you guys ever had like a cough or a cold? Oh, oh yeah, I get a sore throat every year. And I have a stuffy nose many times. <laughs> That's right, we've all had that. You know, those are caused by a virus. They come around in the winter time. And some viruses are worse than others. Sometimes not only do you have a cough or cold, but sometimes you get a deep, deep cough and even sometimes you might get a high fever. Oh, I had a fever last year. You did? I missed a whole week of school. You know, your parents kept you home so that your fever and your sickness wouldn't get other people sick. Yep, mom said whenever we have a fever, we have to stay home. That's right, because you're trying to protect other people. That makes sense. Now, what else can I answer for? So you're saying we're trying to protect others? Yeah, you're staying home because you want to protect your family, and then also you want to protect other people. But, but Pastor, I'm so bored at home. I want to go out and see my friends. I me get it. too, me too. Well, you know, I think they're gonna start lifting things and they're gonna let us go out a little bit. They're gonna let you go back to the park. But I do know that even when they begin to kind of lift some of these restrictions, you're gonna to have to be smart, guys. I'd be smart. Yeah. Well, for example, you know when you're playing ball in the backyard and if you get a really good swing and you hit the ball across the street, before you run across the road to get the ball, what do you do? Oh, I know, I know. What? You have to look both ways. Oh, and make sure you look twice just to be safe. Safe. That's the key word. We want people to be able to go back out, but we want them to be safe. And so there are a number of things, three of them in fact, that we're asking people to do to stay safe. You might hear people talking about social distancing. That just means keep a little distance between you and another person. So if they got a cough and a cold and they sneeze, you don't get some of those germs. So just make sure you keep a little space between you and other people. Right. And then the second thing that they're saying when you go out, especially to a store, is make sure you wear a mask. Oh, oh wow. no. No way, no how. Those things look so silly. I will never wear one of those. Uh, granted, they don't look the best, but you know what you can do? We were talking about this at home, and so Miss Cheryl and I, we made for you guys these masks. <gasps> Whoa! Wow, you don't just have that. to wear a plain old mask. You could get with your parents and see all the bright colors on here, and Gertrude, <gasps> you know what we made for you? It's bedazzled! It's bedazzled, yeah. that's right. And it's got... It's got some, oh, it just looks so cool. I love it. So we made these for you, and we're going to leave them here. And the first time you go out, make sure that you put these things on, and they'll look really great on you. I'll definitely wear one of those. <laughs> Me too. I love it. Now, that's two. Keep your distance. Wear a mask. But there's a third one. What do you think it might be? Hmm. Um, I think I know. Oh, 
What? Wash your hands. That's it. Oh, Wash yeah. your hands. Germs like to stay on your hands, so whenever you go out, as soon as you come back, make sure that you wash your hands. So I think we got it. Let's let's practice a little bit. So you keep a distance, number one. You wear your bedazzle mask. <laughs> That's right. And wash your hands. That's great, guys. That is exactly what you should do. Very good. But but Pastor, yeah. I'm still scared. Mm. I, I I don't want to get sick. I'll tell you what, guys, one of the reasons I came over, not, not just to talk about those three things, those are important, keeping a distance, wearing a mask, washing your hands, but as Christians, I wanted to tell you, we have a secret weapon. <gasps> a secret weapon? A secret weapon. Like a superhero? Like a superhero. What? You guys have a way to be protected and to kind of feel better and not so nervous. You want to know what it is? Yeah. Hey, I'm going to read something for you. This is in the Bible. And you can have your parents read the whole chapter for you. That's how good it is. This is Psalm chapter 91. You want me to read it for you? Yeah. Listen to this. It says about God, it says, He can cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. You don't have to fear the terror of the night, nor the plague that destroys at the midday. Oh. So it says that God will protect you, but you want to know what? He's got a secret way to protect you. What you want to know what it is? What is it? Oh, I got to keep reading. This gets pretty good. Listen to this. No harm will befall you. No disaster will come near. And here it is. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They'll lift you up in their hands so that you won't strike your foot against a stone. Angels. <gasps> wow. I know, you know, the Bible says there are angels all around us. And this verse says, if we ask him for help, he'll actually send them to protect us. So you don't have to be nervous or worried. All you got to do is say, God, please protect us. Hey, Pastor. Yeah. Do you think you could pray with us? Oh, I'd love to pray for you guys. But I want to tell you something, though, too. And you kids that are watching, your parents can pray with you. But if you're alone in your bedroom at night, and you're feeling a little nervous about all the stuff that's going on, just remember Psalm 91. Say, God, please send those angels to protect me. I love the way that sounds, but I'm going to pray for you guys right now. Boy, Lord, it is kind of scary times, but I'm glad the Bible says that you'll send angels to protect us. So I pray for Gertrude, and I pray for Bert, and I pray for all the kids that are watching that might be a little scared right now. Tell them there's nothing to be afraid of because you can protect them. And in fact, you'll send angels to guard them. Lord, watch over these kids, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, guys, I'm going to go, but when I leave, I want you to tell the kids all the things that we learned today so that they don't have to be scared and you guys don't have to be scared anymore. Thanks, guys. Anytime you need me, you give me a call. Bye. Bye, Pastor Lance. So everyone remember, keep a good distance. Wear your really cool masks and wash your hands. And ask God to send angels. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.